Guys, today we're taking a look at a pair of Yeezys that's not only incredibly exciting because it's been in the works for such a long time, but it could also literally start a fire. Now it comes in just a regular Yeezy box, so all over cardboard with the 500 text on the top. What's actually different about this box is that it's literally three times the size of a regular 500 box. This thing is massive. But here we have them, guys. This is the Yeezy 500 Tactical Boot. Oh, and also if you're wondering where I am, by the way, I'm actually out here in Saudi Arabia. I thought it'd be a good idea to fly all the way out here just to test this pair of shoes. I'm joking, I had to come out here anyway, but uh, you know, two birds, one stone. Either way, over the past few days, since I got this pair of boots in, I've been testing them out and they have actually surprised me on multiple levels. First off, can I just highlight the fact that these things literally just came out of nowhere? I feel like we see so many different Yeezy leaks from Foam Runner V2s to crazy new 700 V4s, but the finished version of this pair of boots literally popped up like a couple weeks ago and now it's already releasing. So somehow they managed to do a really good job at keeping this pair of boots under wraps. Even though some of you guys will know that this pair of boots has actually been in the works for a very, very long time. Different iterations and samples. In fact, we actually saw Kanye West wearing this pair of boots just in the tan colorway all the way back in 2020. So yeah, if there's any of you guys who have been following along the whole leak journey of this pair of sneakers, well, I'm sure you'll be happy to know that they are finally releasing. have actually just loaded up on the Adidas Confirmed app. In fact, you can go and enter the draw right now. Now that draw ends on August the 14th, so if you do want these things, definitely get your draw in there. Now here's the kicker with this pair of sneakers. The retail price on these is $300 out in the US or 250 pounds here in the UK. Now let's say you're someone who really likes the look of this pair of shoes, but maybe you're not a fan of the all over black colorway. Well, there is actually a second colorway which should be dropping relatively soon. That pair comes in all over tan. That's actually the pair that we saw Kanye West wearing. It definitely gives this sneaker model a more military boot-like look, but I gotta be honest, if I had to pick between the two, I'm taking the murdered out colorway. Either way, the boot itself, as you could probably assume, is a little bit strange for the fact that it does really mix a sneaker and a boot into one pair of shoes. The upper on these is very clearly boot-like, all the way from the metal eyelets that extend all the way to the top of the boot. The mix of really nice soft-feeling suede and ballistic nylon, a very durable piece of rubber that wraps around just above that midsole to give it extra protection from mud and water. You also do get a tiny bit of leather both on the lateral side of the shoe and on the medial. It actually feels very good quality. Now obviously this is a very high pair of boots so it does come up quite high on your leg. In fact these things sit just underneath my calf. So in terms of styling you might not personally like how they look when you're wearing a pair of shorts. Wrapping around the ankle area is actually some really nice padding so they do feel really good even though they do sit so high up on your leg. But to my surprise walking around in these things they don't actually just rub the hell out of your leg and end up being super uncomfortable. In fact, that's one of the most surprising things I found out about this pair of boots is just how insanely comfortable they are. In the past, we've seen Yeezy brand create shoes for a specific purpose, but don't end up being as practical for that purpose as intended. I think a great example of that would be the Yeezy Quantum Basketball sneaker. It was just a super heavy, chunky pair of shoes that not very many serious basketball players wanted to actually play ball in. But I honestly think this pair as a tactical boot really achieves its practicality very, very well. Like when I think of a use case for a tactical boot, it would be someone in the military or a police officer. And while I don't think that this pair could necessarily replace those shoes made for those specific use cases, these are just very well made. And that's another really surprising thing about this pair of boots is just how light and movable it is. So when you have it on foot, like you literally feel like you can move around. I, I could run in these things. So like when I have them on, I can move around very easily. I could 
could even cut around and take sharp corners in them. They definitely feel very practical on foot. Because the upper nylon material is so thin and lightweight, when you are wearing this pair of shoes, they feel incredibly comfortable and don't restrict you in any way. Like you can still lace them up extremely tight and still move your leg around in a very comfortable fashion. Now the laces that you get on here are extremely interesting. For starters, they are very, very long and actually you lace them up by wrapping them around the shoe itself. Now that just adds some extra lockdown on this pair of shoes and takes some of the tension off of the eye stays. But of course, one of the most insane things about this pair of shoes is that these laces are actually fire starters. And the pair of shoes comes with a tag basically saying that these things can be ignited with a spark or an open flame. Like I've seen some other variations of fire starting laces where you would have like a striker on the end and you can use it to start a fire with some kindling. These are actually different and have a different use case. So if you take a look at the tip or the aglet of these laces, you can see a little red cord inside. That red cord is the fire starter. So if you stripped it down and pulled it out, that is what would burn for a very long time. So if you were out in the wild rocking your Yeezys and you needed to start a fire, well, it could actually come in very handy. Now, of course, there is the argument of who is actually going to be wearing a $300 pair of Yeezys in a situation that requires you to use the laces to start a fire. And I would probably say, well, yeah, good question. But hey, listen, if you're one of the 0.01% of people who would actually end up in that situation with your Yeezys, well, the sky's the limit. These things could potentially end up saving your life. So whether you think it's a gimmick or not, at least on this pair of Yeezys, it's a practical gimmick, unlike, I guess, the times where they've added glow-in-the-dark shoes. Now, the sizing on these is actually the other thing that really surprised me about this pair of shoes, because uh, it's actually one of the best-fitting Yeezys I've ever tried on. Now, we all know that Yeezy brand is notorious for being super inconsistent with their sizing. Some of them run super, super tight, and others are a little bit more true to size. But these fit me perfectly. Like, my foot just slides right in there and feels insanely comfortable. So I went with my true to size, and they fit perfect, so that's what I'm going to recommend to you. But listen, guys, I think these are really, really cool. I mean, obviously, it helps that I really like the way that they look. Again, I would assume most people are first buying Yeezys for the way that they look and how comfortable they are, and then the practicality second. So yeah, if you were looking for a new pair of boots, which is insanely comfortable, and you can excuse that very hefty retail price, then I think this is a solid option. But let me know what you think of the Yeezy 500 tactical boot down in the comments section, and hey, if you want a full rundown on all of the other Yeezys that could be dropping this month, check out that video over there.